Hey there, this is Tyler from WTFX. Today we're focusing on the Bezier Warp. Let's dive. Hold on, that's not a blur. Are we done with the blurs? Oh, nope, there's still the camera lens blur. And that one is going to need a few videos to get through it all. Although I guess we could actually just do some other videos in the meantime while we're getting those ready. Like distorts. Distorts would be fun. A distort is an effect that alters the natural shape of an object or an image. And the very first distort listed in that category is the Bezier Warp, which is probably one of the easiest plugins to use within this category. Even though it is pretty funny that when you click on it and apply it to a layer, it does look like there's a ton of controls to it. You see, once it's applied to a layer, there are 12 circles, and each one is manipulated by the controls in the effects panel. Looking over these controls, you'll notice that they seem to have the same words repeated over and over again in a different order. For example, there's a top right directly above a right top, as well as the word vertex and tangent repeated over again. And yes, it is important to know the difference. The difference between a vertex and a tangent is that the vertex are the corners of the image and the tangents go in between them. As for the difference between top right and right top, you simply need to pay attention to the order of the words. The first word tells you the side of the image that will be affected. Top, bottom, right, left. The second word is the direction. So for example, top right would be this tangent here, and right top is this tangent right here. Quality tells you how smoothly the curve of the image will be. As you can see when we move this top right tangent here, with a quality of 10, the highest it goes, the curve is pretty smooth. But if we change that to 1, it's no longer a smooth curve, but rather a series of straight lines gradually turning. To see it in action, let's say we need to change the image on a curved screen TV. It can be any image, really, so let's replace it with, I don't know, a, a cat in a powdered wig. We apply the Bezier Warp to it and move each vertex and tangent until it lines up with the edge of the screen. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the footage so that way you don't have to see me do it in real time. And there you have it. So whether you like the simple nature of the effect or its ability to manipulate pictures and footage to fit any screen, I think there's one thing we all can agree on. Bezier is a fun word to say, especially with a bad French accent. Thanks for watching. I am so sorry for what you just watched. See that big red subscribe button? Definitely don't click that and don't hit the bell icon either because doing either of those will let you know when we upload new content. And you see those two clips of the other videos that we made? You don't want to check those out either. Just steer clear of them. I mean, you you just watch one of our videos. That's why. In fact, what you may even want to do is, is just shut down your computer. If you live near a canal or a river, maybe even take the computer and just throw it in one of them.